Welcome back guys. Sorry I'm a little late getting you this update, but I did film it in time on the first day of March, but I just now got around to editing everything together right last day of the month. But anyway, we got a little of the frozen stuff in February 22, and as you can see, we got a good amount of rain and the pollening is upon us. So let's see if that's going to affect anything. As usual, we'll foam these two windscreens down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam. Rinse, foam again, wash, and then of course rinse before inspecting the hydrophobic properties of everything. And there are several in here that are on their way to failing but haven't quite failed yet. You can tell pretty quickly here, which you'll see in a minute, when I rinse it, there's just a little bit hanging on, not to the point where we would call it failed, but maybe there has been some changes this month. Let's find out. All right, jumping right into it. Griot's Never Wet, Gion, you know, all those are looking pretty strong. And all these would be equivalent to on your side or your back glass. This would not be representative of what's on your windscreen. And I'm doing a separate test for that. It's just taking a long time. So Rain-X looks like it's on its way to failure. Not quite there, but pretty close. Pearl Nano, Gion, Never Wet, all those are still looking pretty decent. I am pretty surprised, honestly, about how well these are doing. Just my experience with some of these other products and Aquapel is what we use in our shop primarily and just not very happy with how long they last. And again, we get about six months out of Aquapel, but look at Adam's two part, that's kind of on its way to failure. Ceramic Pro lasted a month, which is surprising because I believe it's the most expensive in this test. System X looking a little weaker. Shatter X doing okay, but it, it does have a little wear on it. As does Glossit and Nano Cotex Hydroglass. Glass Parency, sort of in the same boat, but it's you know nowhere near weak. Nano Cotex K2 and G Technic G1, G2 also again about the same. Carbon Collective looks extremely hydrophobic, as does NGNT, which that's a that is a company in Switzerland that is entering the US market under a different brand, of which I don't know what the brand is. I've used their ceramic coatings in my other tests, and they are pretty impressive, so their glass coating also looks like it's doing quite well. So I wish I had more info on that company because I want to know more as well. So there you go, guys. There's your update. Stay tuned. Next month, we've got six months coming at you. We'll see if anything else has changed. And thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.